Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Dreamiverse, and for those of you in the Outerverse, make sure you hit subscribe to get more content such as this, reactions, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm JG, and you are tuned in to JG Rants, a show where we talk about anything and everything that I want to talk about, whether it's K-pop related or not. In this video, we're going to be asking the question, where is the love for brown eyed girls, aka one of the most underrated, popular, if that makes sense, K-pop groups of all time. I got a lot to say about this, honestly, so just strap in. I might, I, this one might be a little bit long. I have loved Brown Eye Girls. They're one of the first K-pop groups that I got into. So about like five years ago ish. And honestly, back then I wasn't really into the whole like fandom names and the whole K-pop community. I didn't really know it existed to be honest with you back then. I didn't realize that people were so involved and invested in K-pop. So I was just listening to the music. You know what I mean? I wasn't like going on websites or anything like that. I was buying their albums off of iTunes and other places and stuff. Them, CM Blue, FT Island, Girls' Generation, blah, 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 blah. All those kind of groups, right? So I always assumed, I always assumed, Brown Eyed Girls has got to be like just gigantic in Korea because these girls are freaking amazing. I think the first thing I heard from them was Abracadabra. And I was like, oh, this is a really cool song. I didn't think it was like the most amazing song in the world or anything like that, but I really liked the song a lot. I liked the girls, I liked their style. Uh, their visuals are freaking awesome, if you ask me. And I liked their dynamic. Once I heard Sixth Sense, I was like, holy sh this is a crazy song. This is really good. It's really well put together. And just how much power all four of these girls have. Now, if you want to talk about girl groups that represent powerful women, they're the group. They are the group. I, I cannot think of, uh, and personally, this is just my personal opinion. I know a lot of people probably say to anyone or whatever. I cannot think of a girl group that ha that, that just represents so much that, powerful women movement, the powerful woman movement kind of a thing, you know? And they do it so well. And they also have this really defined sexiness about them as well. Not only that, but they're also really talented. Mirio's rapping, I just did, a, I just, a, and I wanna talk about that too, the views, man. The views is what I'm really gonna get into because it drives me insane. Mirio, love her rapping, man. Just the tone in her voice, she has this attitude and this really unique tone to her vocal and her flow is sick. Gain. Gain's probably the most famous Brown Eyed Girl member. She's had a really successful solo career for sure and I love her solo albums. Her latest album wasn't my favorite but the one before that, Hawa, however you pronounce that. Fantastic mini album you guys, definitely check that out if you haven't. I'm sure you've heard Paradise Lost but there's also a lot of other good songs on there as well. And Narsha, Narsha doesn't get enough love. She's got a good voice man and she's pretty and she's got this Again, this really just awesome sexiness to her. Like in Kill Bill, oh, she kills me in that music video. Her and Mirio, it's really funny, man. I cannot have a bias for brown eyed girls. Hell no, there's just no freaking way. She she deserves more love, man. In Sixth Sense, that high note that she hits, woo! Her and Gain both hit some really nice high notes in that song, and it's like, wow. And then Ja. She writes songs for people. She writes songs for herself. She's doing so much stuff, man. She is fantastic. Fantastic vocalist. She doesn't get enough love either, honestly. So the thing I want to talk about is they've got all these amazing songs. They've got great albums where the B-sides or whatever you want to call them are really great too. This album back here, Basic, is one of my favorite albums of all time. I'm not just talking about K-pop. I'm talking all time. Love the concept, the visuals, the music videos, the two music videos that came out for that album for Warm Hole and for Brave New World are fantastic the visuals are glorious they are glorious i will use that but let's check out the views and see if they really represent how good these are i'll explain okay so abracadabra was their first it is as long i'm pretty sure i'm correct on this was their first big hit right and it's a cool song cool music video it's got an iconic dance in there sai most of you already know sai used that dance kind of incorporate it in his choreography. That's why he had Gain in the music video. 32 million views, that's pretty awesome. That's good, that is good. But that was seven years ago this came out. Now I wanna go to, let's say twice. TT has 322 million views. And that's a year ago. That's a year ago, you guys. And I love twice. I'm not hating on twice at all. I'm just saying, Brown Eyed Girls does not get enough love. Cheer Up, 247 million views one year ago. Like Oh Ah, 226 million views. Likey, 182 million views. I love that song. And it goes on from there. And then you've got probably Brown Eyed Girls' most popular track, which is Abracadabra. 
only 32 million views. Now, if I got 32 million views on a, on a video, I'd probably shit my pants. <laughs> Because that'd be absolutely amazing for me. But when you've got a group that's famous and that's their highest, I've got it set from highest to lowest for views. All right. And Abracadabra is their most viewed music video. Let me go down here. So you got Guy in here, Paradise Lost. That is a really great song. The lyrics in that song, super sexy. And the music video is sexy as hell too. But let's go down here. Sixth Sense. This is an amazing song. You've got an orchestra going on in here. Lots of crazy cool vocals. The lyrics are fantastic. And you, again, you want to talk about powerful women? Holy ish, you guys. Please, if you have not checked this music video out, if you have not checked these girls out, check this one out. Because man, it is fantastic that only has 5.9 million views on their official friggin' website man it drives me insane it really does like i can't even believe that i can't believe maggie can you believe that 5.9 million views on six cents came out six years ago that's it it's wrong i don't understand why what is the reasoning? Now, I know some people will say, well, like the powerful women image kind of a thing isn't super popular in Korea, but to anyone, for me, also has a powerful image. And these two groups kind of are similar in ways to me, in ways, not sound, but just in ways, maybe like the way that they present themselves. They're powerful women to me. And I've had maybe one request, one or two requests to check out Brown Eyed Girls. I've had so many requests to check out 21. Now, everything that I've checked out from 21 so far, they have a very specific sound. I'm not hating on 21 at all. I like them. The thing with Brown Eyed Girls, man, is they have a very diverse sound and they had all of their songs that you can listen to, their albums, man, they really change it up like crazy. It bothers me that they don't get as much love as 21 does. I don't know. It just bothers me. It really does. So let's check it out for 21. Come back home. Fabulous music video, fabulous song, uh, 68 million views in three, that's three years ago. 68 million, man. I Am The Best has more. Um, uh, 198 million views. That's six years ago. So six years ago, six years ago. It's so wrong. Also, you guys, for those of you who haven't seen it, Kill Bill, there's a dance version and there's the actual music video itself. Both videos are freaking awesome. Not completely different, but pretty damn different. It's based off of the Kill Bill series, Kill Bill 1 and 2, which if you haven't seen those movies, they're pretty killer. Killer, get it? And I love what they did with it. I prefer the dance version because I just like seeing them dance and like really listening to the music, but sometimes it's fun to watch the music video because it's just a cool music video. Just go check it out. And like Brave New World. Brave New World is such a good song, you guys. The bass line is freaking killer in Brave New World. It's such a good bass line, I'm just saying. 3.5 million views, man. I just don't get it, you guys. If you're a Brown Eyed Girls fan, please let me know in the comments what the deal is with this. <laughs> because all four of them are just super freaking talented. They have really good music. Their visuals are on point. Their music videos are freaking awesome. What is wrong? What is wrong? Now, let me end it with this and why I'm so irritated right now. So, Mirio just came out with a song. I just recorded a reaction to it. And the views... Okay, so can I see you again? <sighs> okay, so it came out nine hours ago. It has 19,000 views. I'm not taking anything away from that. I'm not saying that's bad. But, you guys, like, so many freaking groups right now come out, boom, and they've got, like, 100,000 views right away. You know what I'm saying? This has been out for nine hours. It's got 19,000 views. And I'm sorry, but it deserves more than that. And it's a really good song. It's not as good as Queen, in my opinion, from Mirio. But they're both really good songs. And you know what? Just, just to check it out, let's see what Queen's got. Because that came out a couple years ago. And that song is so freaking good. And it's got Gaeen in it. 418,000 views. I mean, that's good. But I don't know, man. I just feel like they deserve more. They should be having comebacks right now. And the thing is, I don't know if it's because they're from a smaller company. That could be it. That could be, it could be as a simple thing as that. They're not part of YG or SM or JYP. They are, <laughs> I'm trying to get that voice down, the JYP voice, because I think it's hilarious and I love it. Maybe that's why, that might be why, but G Friend's killing it. And they're not from a big group. I think Dreamcatcher's doing pretty good. You know, they're not from a big uh, company is what I meant to say. Not from a big group. I meant to say. What I'm saying is BTS. 
Oh yeah, BTS. Duh. I was kind of thinking of girl groups, but yes, BTS. Obviously, <laughs> BTS, you know, has proved that maybe incorrect that you can be from a small group and blow up like crazy and be like the biggest group in the world. So I don't know what it is. I really, really don't know what it is. But man, it drives me insane that they don't get enough love. Similar for FT Island too, but that's a that that's a different video. But if you're watching this and you if you haven't checked any brown brown eyed girls out, man, and you've watched my videos, you know my musical taste, and maybe you trust my musical taste, please go check out some brown eyed girls songs. Check out the album Basic. It's friggin' just so damn good. You can listen to the whole thing through, man. I promise. It's a great album. And these girls deserve more love and attention. They really do, man. They should be doing comebacks right now. They should be blowing up, doing concerts and stuff. All of them are still active. You know, Brown Eyed Girls doesn't come out with anything new. That's what I'm saying. Like, I wish that maybe, I don't know if it's a company issue or whatever. I know they've got their lives and stuff. And I'm pretty sure um, Narsha just got married and stuff. But still, like, I don't know, man. They just deserve more. And that's the end of my rant. I've ranted enough, I think. I just wanted to say that they're super talented. I think that they're super underrated. Super underrated, man. I'm not going to mention specific groups or anything like that. I wouldn't do that. But I do feel like if you were to put groups into categories for... Oh, man. I'm going to get hate for this. For talent, they would be way high up, man. And the the thing is, is they're not getting as much love. They didn't get as much love as some other groups. And that really bums me out, man. Let me know down in the comments if you feel the same way. Let me know down in the comments if you've even heard of Brown Eyed Girls before. Or maybe I should say if you've even listened to their music before. Because I'm sure you've probably heard the name. But I I'm, I want to know if you've, you've listened to them. And if you haven't, please go check them out, man. I think that you'll enjoy their music. And like I said before, they're very diverse. Listen to Queen by Mirio, then listen to Kill Bill by Brown Eyed Girls. Totally separate ends of the spectrum when it comes to music, man. And then listen to Brave New World, then go listen to Gain, uh, I don't know, anything. What is it? Apple. Apple. I love that song. Go check that out. Go check out Warm Hole. Oh my God. And all these have music videos and they're good music videos, especially Apple, if you know what I'm saying. I love that song, and I dance to that song constantly in the car. Don't I, Maggie? Yeah. No, 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 no. Just saying, there's a little uh, egg yo for you guys. <laughs> Some pathetic egg yo. Anyways, you guys, I love you, and I hope that you liked this. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you agree with what I'm saying. Also, if there's any other groups that you think deserve more attention that also don't get it, let me know that down in the comments, too. Share this video. Spread the word of Brown Eyed Girls. Not that I have like a huge following or anything, but everything helps. I love you guys. Dreamers, keep on dreaming. I'll see you in the next video. Stay truthful. And until then, I'm young.